Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks for the new subscribers taking the time to check out the channel. I'm an amateur researcher. I do amateur astronomy. I started a year and a half ago, uh, well, not the photography, but the amateur researching. And why? Because um, I found a star with what I thought it was a star actually it was a planet and there were structures on them. And then I found structures on the moon after buying a telescope. This is behind Clavius Crater, the wall that you just saw, that famous wall. Now look at these. This is alongside Mericrisium to the right of Mericrisium. Guys, this video is spectacular. We're going to look at the surface of the moon. We're going to look at what I believe are structures. We're looking at the surface. When you see the surface, well, the camera doesn't lie always wanted to look inside these glass domes. I'm starting to believe um, that some of them, like, you know what I mean? You hear tell of people, um, they say that the, the surface of the moon looks like um, ice, that you can see through it. Well, it could be ice, mountains inside of it. That would be a bit odd. But for whatever the reason, whether it be a field uh, of some type, magnetic field, oxygen you know i don't know but we're be, uh, we're being able to see um inside a little glimpse of uh, what's going on and what kind of uh, surface is there it's just wow you know it's mesmerizing the moon is absolutely mesmerizing now guys there is no color added in this no i have to bring the color down if not it's going to spot it's very bright. The moon surface is very bright. We have purples, greens. Um, this is what it looks like. And the surface has what looks like big blocks, you know, massive rocks that would probably, probably be the size of large buildings. How close are we? Well, we're right into the photo. So it's sort of hard to analyze and to tell you how close we are yeah i was at i was at 800 zoom with the telescope but now i'm zoomed in even more in the photo this is the virtual surface of the moon you can see it very well i mean what do you think you're looking at right now it is a base of some sort or a structure every single structure is connected by a tunnel um, every single structure has um, an opening or entrance or dark um, shadow area, but it's not a shadow. Um, there are dark structures on the surface of the moon, um, I believe, and that I've also caught. I've seen dark pyramids, uh, pyramid-shaped objects. This is, is absolutely spectacular, guys. Look at how everything is connected. We're looking at a virtual alien city on the surface of the moon, real color, giant stepping stones that I call them of time and ancient times. Yes, I do believe that there are ancient and recent structures on the surface of the moon. This is absolutely, absolutely mesmerizing to be able to see the surface this way. I've been studying on different techniques, but like I say, the standard technique that everyone uses, you know, we stack photos, um, we view the moon uh, in gray. All I've done is bought a color camera, stuck it at the back of my telescope, and people are telling me, why are you adding color? I'm not adding color, guys. I'm using a color camera to get the surface of the moon. And of course, the white areas, well, will give us a lot of trouble to be able to see anything at all. But in reality, there's many tricks that we can do and that we have to do, obviously, by one, first taking the exposure uh, down, then maybe adding some brightness um, in replacement to the ex exposure. Why? Because the brightness is not the same as the exposure and it will give you a bit more clarity on the contours of the outside of the photo because it will dim once you descend the exposure this is the surface of the moon we're seeing objects like rocks or stones or spherical objects square objects and look at the outlining between 
these objects. It's absolutely unnaturally formed. They look like um, overhead view of, of Earth, if you want, guys. If you're in a plane and we're going over farmlands, well, you will see the separations of various territories. Okay, so they're not um, as clean as us, if you want, uh, meaning for their symmetry, for symmetrical objects. Their goal is not symmetrical. And don't forget, on Earth, we have to build symmetrical, as if not, buildings would fall on Earth because of the gravitational field that we have here on Earth, the way gravity pulls on objects on Earth. If we, if we build them high, well, they have to be symmetrical. They have to be uh, built a certain way. This is why we have um, special people with special jobs today to do, these, uh, to do these blueprints of these buildings that we see today. It's just absolutely mesmerizing. I wonder how some of them hold up. But yeah, guys, you're looking at the truth, you know, of meaning you're looking at the truth of what I got. This is the surface of the moon. Now we're in the southern highlands, um, home of Clavius Crater, of course. And this is not too far from Clavius Crater. It's just north of Clavius Crater, over top, a couple of thumb lengths. This is all there. And you know the supposed spaceship that, that they say is in the crater on the surface of the moon? Well, we're going to go see. Um, I don't think it's a spaceship. And if it is, well, maybe... It was, but look at the holes in it, like they say, just like uh, on the internet. It's the same area. I found it. Uh, it's definitely the area. We'll see. Um, this is a close, close view. Then we'll see further out, and this is all natural color, just beautiful. You can tell that there's something unnatural in that crater, for sure. We'll see it zoomed out, guys. The crater is also square has very flat sides to it. Now, many of you can think that maybe some of this is manipulated. Well, all I can do is promise you that it isn't, of course, and eh, that's my word, uh, you know. Uh, you, <laughs> you have to trust me, I guess. That's all I can say, guys. Um, there's no manipulation here. If this is what I caught with my camera and it's what I saw live, this is live footage, by the way, that's uh, a snapshot taken out of it. I saw this in my eyes. It's up there. Everyone knows it's in uh, the Southern Highlands. And um, look at this object. So guys, seriously talking, energy grid. The moon is illuminated. It does have to have an en energy source. Whether the energy source is natural, which could be, or the energy source was um, built. I believe that this is an energy source. It, there's something flowing through these uh, veins, guys, okay? There's something on the surface of the moon, whether it be places for people to roam in uh, tunnels, whether it be an electrical grid, the power has to get around the moon somehow, you know? Are they glass domes? They could also be that. Look what we're looking at, and look how many of them there are. Guys, they're symmetrically placed, one over top of the other. we got to think, I mean, look at this. There's not just one of these objects. My goodness, we're looking at maybe 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 of these objects. This could be an electrical grid uh, in the Southern Highlands, which is actually powering the entire moon. If you look at Mare Fecunditatis, um, Mare Chrysium, uh, especially Mare Serenitatis, look at the pipes, what looks like pipes in the center of them, every single one of them. And then when you zoom in even more, my friends, well, I swear to you, you could actually see that each crater is connected by what everyone says is either lava tubes or ejecta. I do not believe that they are all lava tubes. Maybe they are, but we see construction on the surface of the moon. So without a doubt, the moon, um, so long me, could have been inhabited or is possibly visited by humans or wow did you like that one see the structures come out isn't that amazing you know they're there guys different wavelengths that we're not able to see with our eyes but a little bit of processing not manipulating processing the ideal guys is not to change the photo right well do whatever you can do or whatever you have to do as long as you're just bringing more detail out in the photos like uh, most people do when they try to enhance photos.
Well, I haven't seen the sun in about three years. No, two weeks. Guys, it's ridiculous. It's been two weeks. I have no sky outside, nothing. And the sun wasn't out all day. It's can't even say it's cloudy. It's just the sky is not there. It's white, white, gray. Um, but it will come back. And those just wondering, those just joining me, I love you guys. Thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. And guys, the comments. I don't know what to say. Um, some of you are sincerely uh, awesome people. I mean, I appreciate the encouragement. And guys, you know, I'm really happy because some of you are enjoying the videos, and I promise I will keep them up. But of course, it's not about making videos and making asteroids happen and making planets, you know, come in front of the sun. Maybe I'll never get that again. Um, I thank God for uh, what I got during the last month and all year, actually. I was able to get so much, guys, but more is coming. But um, every moment the sun is out, what I do is I go out and film. I work, of course, five days a week, sometimes six. So what I do is I'll go outside and I will film uh, the sun for two to three hours a day. And then I'll look at it in slower motion. But guys, this does take the four or five hours. Yes, I'm dumb enough to stare at the monitor and look for one craft or one asteroid. And you know what? I often get a craft or an asteroid. It's just the patience. And look at the straight edge here, uh, guys, of the crater, you know. Well, oh, this is beautiful, too. This is, you know, we're looking at the surface, guys. This is structuring on the surface of the moon. Isn't it beautiful? It's the real thing. There's life out there, guys. I'm allowed my opinion. You're allowed your opinion. I'm not trying to propagate anyone, um, you know, change anyone's beliefs. I'm not trying to um, say anything about these videos aside that they're real and I'm filming the surface and that there's no manipulation in them. So it's getting late, guys. It's almost one in the morning. I appreciate it so much for um, stopping by. Weekend's coming up. I'm going to go wild. I want to go through my photos, and if the sun comes back at the sun, looking for the moon. Oh, the moon's coming. I can see it some somewhere um, amongst the clouds. But guys, thanks for the support. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, I'm overwhelmed by the beautiful comments, and I hope they'll continue. And uh, thanks for interacting. Thanks for connecting. There's a lot more to come. These are the website contributors. Thanks to them, we're getting a telescope. Not just any telescope, ladies and gentlemen. You guys all know it now, by now. I've been seeing it for like a year, right? A 14 inch. And it is coming very soon down from California. Actually, it's gone from California, I hope. You know, it must be New York, maybe Montreal. Who knows? Well, no, next week, I'll be on the horn next week. WSO YouTube channel. Check out Tuesday nights. Steve and I talk about the sky and sometimes the moon.